Okay. Oops, one more thing. Okay, there we go. All right, here we are for the final week of our Advent series. So this is the week on um, love. So we're going to read on page 598 in our Book of Common Prayer. Oh, 599. We are going to read um, the fourth Sunday in Advent prayer. The one in the middle of the page. You there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Read with me. Stir up your power, your power O Lord, Lord, and with, and with great, great might, might come among us. us. As we and are, as we are sorely hindered by our sins from running the race that is set before us, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through jesus christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit be honor and glory now and forever amen so oh my puppy wants to sit on my lap <laughs> so um I'm going to introduce our meditation tonight um, with a Bible verse and just a little pondering. So um, as I do that, you can maybe put your hands on your heart or one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. I'm going to turn that music down again so it's still a little too loud in my ear. Okay, there. Okay, so coming into our, just a space of prayer. First John 4, 9 says, By this the love of God is revealed in us, that God has sent his one and only Son into the world so that we may live through him. I'm going to read that again. By this, the love of God is revealed in us, that God has sent his one and only son into the world so that we may live through him. Mm -hmm. So we're going to think now a little bit about gifts because it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one big thing we associate with Christmas, right? The giving of gifts to others and receiving gifts. Mm -hmm. And usually, usually when we give a gift, we put a lot of thought into um, the receiver and what would bless them or what they need. And it comes out of our heart of love and care for that person. So think of those feelings as you choose the perfect gift for someone that you love and even that anticipation you feel um, knowing what's in store when they unwrap it and and then think that God is the gift giver and he thinks of you and what you want and need and what would tickle your heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he bursts with joy as you receive his gift and that is Jesus it is many things <laughs> but in this time of Advent we really think of Jesus and that gift that we've been given So let your imagination, because you know I love imagination, <laughs> imagine God just in your family time of gift giving, gift giving and receiving. So if you're in your living room or wherever you normally do that, 
and your family's around you and your tree is lit and maybe you have candles and it's cozy and maybe you can kind of place him in the room locate his presence and can you picture him holding a gift Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and tune into the expression on his face just kind of hold that emotion you sense from him We'll turn our attention to our breath and prayer. This time as we exhale, just open your hands just as a gesture of receiving. And as you inhale, just inhale that safety that there is in God's presence. So exhale. You're in receiving posture, both your hands and your heart open to receive and inhaling the safety and love in God's presence. So let's begin to move. Bring your arms up above. Good. And lower your hands back down to that receiving posture. Open them up to a T, stretching across your chest. And close to a hug. Yes. Good. So we'll take that with breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down to receive. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Try to cross the opposite arm on top. <laughs> Might be kind of hard to think about, but inhale up. Exhale, receive. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, hug. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, receive. Inhale, T. And exhale, hug. Hang out in your hug. Mm -hmm. Good, and release that. We'll do some gentle circles with the left arm first. So we'll go back, up and around. Stay in your comfortable range of motion. Yeah, yeah. noticing anything that's sticky or uncomfortable and just go real gently in that space yeah and let's go the other direction up and over mm -hmm. one more round And in on to the right arm. Let's take it back. You may notice it feels different on one side or the other. I got a pop in this one. <laughs> it's a little more crunchy. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Yep, definitely a little more crunchy. It's fun to age, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe one more this way. Uh, good, then we'll circle forward. So sweep it to the back, up and over. Maybe notice what muscles in your back are coming into play as you do this. Good, one more circle. Okay, we'll do a little stretch for the shoulder here. <laughs> Left arm across the body. And you can just hook it with your right arm and gently draw it towards your chest just to stretch here in this upper arm shoulder area. No forcing it. We just go until you feel a stretch. So I've kind of focused most of our stretching and movement in on um, the upper body, shoulders and chest, because I tend to do that when, when I have a class on love. I focus on like the physical area of the heart. Uh -huh. It's a weird yoga thing. <laughs> okay, switch arms. The right arm. I have to get my joint in place. Right arm across the body. And I'm just going to guide it over with the left. So we will be doing several things that kind of open a, up our chest or cause us to and really stretch that area. And okay, let that go. We'll do now the back side of the arm, the tricep. So reach your left arm up overhead first and drop that hand behind your head. Now you might already feel that muscle stretching and that is fine. Uh, you can increase it by just placing your right hand on that elbow and guiding it be closer to your head if you want to. It's a little tricky because sometimes the head actually gets in the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> Another way to do it, um, I don't think you have a strap handy. You could always hang on to a strap mm -hmm. um, in that hand. And then as you reach around behind with the other hand. Oh, wow. And it does the same thing. Okay. Yeah, that's why I always like to have a strap or a belt. Works just fine. The muscle that we don't really stretch very much at all, so. No. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready to switch? So we can yeah. reach up the right arm. Drop it behind the head. And again, if you already feel a stretch just like this, you can just leave it. Or you can take it into your left hand and use that to guide it closer to your head. Actually, kind of you over. No. He's moaning. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, let it go. Bring your arms down, maybe give them a little shake. <laughs> okay, if you've got a little space behind your bum in your chair, sweep the hands back around behind you. And maybe, what kind of seat are you sitting on, Andrea? Is it soft or hard? It's a, it's a pretty flat chair with a straight okay. back. Okay, if you want to use the, like the seat, the edges of the seat to hang on to, Mm -hmm. And just roll your shoulder blades back together and lift up your heart. Stretching open the chest. Take your head wherever is comfortable. So gaze can stay forward, but we do want to lift up the chest. I'm actually going to clasp my hands together behind me. Find where my thing is, dude.
It's time to get down. Time to get down. Hold on. That's enough. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, are you there? What's going on? Okay. We're going to move on. I think I might actually. I'm going to mute you, Andrea. Okay. 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 So I'm going to kneel here. You can stay seated in your chair. I'm also going to adjust my camera. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do something called camel. Actually, we're going to do a modified camel. Um, and it's going to look like this. Your hands are going to come right down to the small of your back or the top of your bum. And you're just going to remember how we lifted the heart on that last one. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, and stretch wide across the chest. So it's very similar. So your hands were down before in your chair. This time they're up the small of your back or maybe even on your hips. The focus really is to draw the shoulder blades together, keep the shoulders low, lift the heart up, and just do a tiny little back bend. And, and then we'll release it and just curl over into a fold or a child's pose. So we're going to go back and forth between these two positions. Uh, and as we move, just really gently, we're going to think or ask the Lord really uh, what gift he is wanting to give you since he is the giver of all good gifts. So let's do that camel opening the heart up to the Lord and gently folding down. And we'll come back up, open the heart, Lord, what are you wanting to give me? And fold down the child. One more time, open the heart. Little back bend. And, and coming down to fold and pause. And lift back up in your chair. You can keep your left foot planted on the ground and bring your right leg off to the side. This should be familiar to you. Okay, slide the left hand down your leg and lift the right arm straight up. And we're going to twist and bring the right hand down towards your left knee. And inhale and bring it back up. Yep. So nice and slow. Exhale, bring the hand down to the knee. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. One more time. And up. And stay here up with your hand raised to the ceiling. And just let that top hand float 
back a little bit. Stretch across your chest. And then release. Slide your left hand back up your leg to come upright. So we're going to turn toward the side so you can leave your left right leg <laughs> extended. And I'm going to turn into this um, left foot. Actually, I'm going to plant my left foot. So in the chair, your left foot will be planted and your right leg will be back, back behind you more like this in your chair. And you certainly can be like that on the floor too, but I wanna be gentle on myself. So I'm gonna stay down here. Good, so we're just going to lean forward into the left leg, creating some space here between. Becomes a little bit of a balance challenge down on the floor. <laughs> So you can keep the left hand on the left knee, reach the right arm out in front. And as you exhale, we'll sweep the right arm back behind and inhale forward. Exhale, sweep. Inhale forward. Whoopsie, balance. Exhale, sweep. Inhale forward. One more time. Sweep it back. And forward. Good. Okay. So here, still facing the side. I'm not sure how this will be for you, Andrea, but you might want to bring your hands back around behind your back. So you can either cradle the small of your back. That's probably a good position to hold. Drawing the shoulder blades together. And you can just stay like that. I'm gonna clasp my hands together, roll my shoulder blades back together, creating just a little bit more space across my chest. Little mini back bend here. What gift do you want to give us, Lord? And gently release. Let's turn back toward the center. <laughs> and for the chair people, <laughs> Andre, we're just going to cross your legs. <laughs> so cross left leg over right leg. Or you can do that figure four. But for those of us on the mat, I should probably explain this better. Left knee is gonna stay up. The right knee is gonna come back around behind. So I've got crossed legs as well. And now I'm gonna sit back and I find a little prop under my buns helps because my hips are really tight. So seated in your chair with your legs crossed or on the floor, excuse me, like me, we just want to lean forward from your hips just until you feel the stretch on the outer hip joints. And breathe. Sometimes this feels really good and sometimes it feels horrible. <laughs> Today it feels good. Okay, release, unwind the legs. We'll take that little flow on the other side. 
So we will have the right knee bent, the left leg out to the side. Good. Sliding down the right leg this time. And lift the left arm up toward the ceiling. Good. And exhale, lower the right hand down to the left knee. Oops, left hand to the right knee. <laughs> Inhale, open up to the sky. And exhaling down. Inhale, nice big sweep up. And exhale down. Inhale, really enjoy that opening. One more time down. And back up. Hold here. Let the left hand drift slightly back. Just open more on the chest. Feeling that maybe all the way down up. <laughs> left arm. Yeah. And let that go. We'll slide back upright. We're going to turn toward our bent knee. Good. So on the chair, the left leg is going to stay extended. The right foot, right leg is bent here on the mat. I'm going to Come into a nice low lunge. Just holding that lunge. Shoulders right above the hips, really gets into the front of the back leg. Nice stretch there. We'll take some arm motion if you reach the left arm out in front of you. And sweep it back. And exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. One more time forward. And back. Good. Turn to the front. Get my balance again. Bring both hands back to the small of the back. Shoulders down and back. Broaden across the chest. Maybe lifting the heart up. Maybe gaze lift. my balance. <laughs> it's a cue time to come out of that. Turn toward the center. We're going to keep the right leg in front. So chair, you can cross your right leg over your left leg. Here on the mat, I'm going to bring my left leg behind my right leg. I can already tell this is going to be really tight. So <laughs> you'll enjoy this. All right. So left leg behind the right leg. Sit it down. I'm gonna have to wiggle a little bit before I find a posture that's comfy or not painful. <laughs> All right, legs cross. Oh, wow. I need to do this one much more often. You wanna really think about a nice long spine since that is something that's really neutral right now. Everything's happening down here. <laughs> As you exhale, you can just hinge forward from the hip joint, keeping your spine long. Remember how I said it felt really good on the other side? <laughs> this side, not so much. <laughs> but that just means I need it. So I'm going to hang out here and breathe.
community. Let's go ahead and release that. This next little portion is going to be done on the floor on my tummy. So I'm going to unmute you so that I can. Or you can unmute yourself if you want to. There you go. Uh, okay. So to do this one in the chair, so we did a stretch like this to stretch this portion of your shoulder. This one is to stretch the front portion of your shoulder. So I was fiddling around in the chair with this. You could, if you've got a back on your chair, you might be able to hook it around the back of the chair and then turn mm -hmm. your, okay and your stretch will be turning toward the front while keeping that hooked on the back of the chair. Okay. Um, and the posture after that one is going to be a really weird one. <laughs> so uh, before I get into it, I want to think of how you're going to modify that in a chair. So we'll figure it out when I'm in it. Sometimes I have to feel it. So on my tummy, back down. Alrighty. <clears throat> so as we go into this chest opening stretch, we're stretching across the front of the body. A new thing to ponder. Um, so you ask the Lord what he wants to give you. And for this section, really tune into how you respond. Um, how, how are you receiving what he wants to give you, um, what emotion you receive that with, if there's any resistance or joy or disappointment, just pay attention to that. So stretching here on the floor, we're gonna extend the left arm out to the side. It'll look like that, <laughs> left arm out to the side. And I'm just gonna roll my body over toward the left. So I'm resting now on my left hip. The whole line of the left side of the body, keeping the left shoulder down on the mat, pressing into the floor with my right hand for leverage. Let my left fingertips and my left palm turn down toward the floor. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think I'm doing it right because I feel it there. There you go. That's that's the key. Can you feel it across the front of your shoulder? Then probably doing it right. And you want that good stretch, not the painful feeling. I kind I have to anchor my palm though. Yeah. To get that stretch. Yeah. Well, that's similar to what I'm having to do with this hand to leverage into the stretch. So. All right, why don't we take it on the other side? So you're gonna get to see my backside on this one. All right, this time right hand, either hooking around behind your chair or lengthen across into a T on the floor. And so you'll see here, I'm just gonna roll my body onto its right side. My head is relaxed down here on the mat. I've got my left hand in front of me for leverage just to keep me from falling forward to help guide my weight back. So I felt the gift God wants to give me is peace. <laughs> Mm. And I received that with a great sigh of relief. <laughs> and the yes, please. All right, we're gonna release, come back to neutral in the center. 
I changed my mind about what the next posture was going to be. So here on the mat, I'm going to have my elbows right below my shoulders. My uh, gaze is neutral right out to center. And I'm just going to gently traction without really moving my arms. I'm just tractioning my elbows back toward my torso. And I'm going to lift my chin up. So this gets a nice stretch all the way up my belly. Tops of the feet are on the mat. In a chair, you'll be seated. Hands to your knees. Here I am. <laughs> Hands to your knees, and you're just going to lean your chest forward and gaze upward. So this is called Sphinx Pose. Mm. <laughs> Hmm. And release in your chair. You can take a fold over if you'd like to. You can widen the legs as much as you want to create some space for the belly. I gotta do that here on the mat too. Just gonna rest a little bit. Into child's pose. And maybe return to that image of God holding his gift for you. And the look on your face, or his face, and the feeling you experience in receiving. Right with me. I'm going to put us into a final resting posture. So, in your chair, you are welcome just to stay upright in a comfortable position. Here on the mat, we're going to recline down on our backs. And I have a blanket here as a bolster um, going from my tailbone up to my neck. And this allows my chest. But open up as I extend my arms out to the sides. Delightful. Very restful. Legs can be straight or knees can be bent. And I have one final passage to read to you and this is from Ephesians 3 that's my prayer for all of us <laughs> for me and for you and everybody <laughs> this is Paul writing he says I ask God to strengthen you by his spirit not a brute strength but a glorious inner strength that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite him in. And I ask that with both feet planted firmly on love, you'll be able to take in with all the followers of Jesus, the extravagant dimensions of Christ's love. Reach out and experience the breadth Test its length, plumb the depths, rise to the heights, live full lives, full in the fullness of God. Mm.
You can hang out as long as you want in restfulness. But that's it for tonight. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Almost Merry Christmas. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll see ya. Blessed Advent. <laughs> Blessed Advent. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.